The easiest way to explain what happens at a seafood processing plan is for someone to come with me on a walk through the processing plant, okay? Product is received, and when I say product, it could be fish, it could be shrimp, okay? It could be aquaculture product, it could be wild product. What happens is the product is brought to the processing facility's door, and during this time, they're trying to maintain the quality of the product, making sure that the temperature is um, being held at a cool temperature. Um, so that there's no quality degradation, um, making sure that the traceability is coming through so that we know where that product has come from. Comes into the plant, and at that point, the product is either gutted and scaled or shelled. It goes through another step in which it may get a light glaze just to protect it if it's going into a freezer okay, to prevent freezer burn. And or if it's going fresh, it may simply just go into a um, box with ice. Product is frozen and moves into um, distribution. The best aquaculture practices and the best seafood practices programs um, have a seafood processing standard because that is the point where it goes on to the consumer. The Seafood Processing Standard is a third-party benchmark standard, and that's important for people to realize because as a third-party benchmark standard, it is unbiased. It is a standard that is reviewed by a standard oversight committee. There are protocols that are followed year in and year out to make sure that their benchmarking is um, adhered to. And it's not just simply Denise Gershon saying that this is a really good standard. This is something that is benchmarked and is a global international standard. An auditor walking into a plant has a different set of eyes than what a typical person who would walk off the street would look at. Um, if you had never been into a processing plant before, you would probably be looking at the number of people or the machinery and just overwhelmed with everything that was happening. Auditors are trained professionals who immediately, before they even walk in the door, are evaluating what that product or what that facility looks like. Um, they'll look at things that you wouldn't even think to notice. Is there animal pest control on the outside perimeters? Or is there fire extinguishers? They'll look up at a ceiling and they're looking for condensation. An auditor goes into a plant and they see, we may see one thing, the auditor sees 150 different things. Seafood is a unique commodity and it's the type of thing that it has a different language and it has a different vocabulary. Um, and these auditors are trained to that. Um, to that standard. And one thing that I do want to say is our program integrity team does a phenomenal job at training auditors so that auditors are consistent. It's not their interpretation of the standard. It is what the standard and the intent of the standard is. The best aquaculture practices has been in business for 25 years. We've got over 150 global endorsers who choose to endorse the um, SPS standard in the best aquaculture program and the best seafood program because they trust it. We've stood the test of time. We continue to improve. It's continuous improvement. And we take great pride in that.